Now, she was dubbed the Queen of the Rovers and had vowed never to retire. Today, Coronation Street stars, past and present, will attend the funeral of the veteran actress Betty Driver, who died last week, aged 91. Her character, Betty Turpin, who later became Betty Williams, was, of course, one of the best-known faces on television, dishing up hot pots and no-nonsense advice from behind the bar. In a moment, we'll speak to the TV critic Toby Earle. First, though, let's look back at her career, which began when she was a child performing in variety shows. Now I will tell you of a story of a Show me your modus operandi. My what? <laughs> your method of defence. Very well. Right. You ready? Ready. Right. Oh. Ready. Right. Oh. Oh. Well, if anybody wants watching round here, sonny boy, it's you. And take your hands off that chair. Oh, hello, Len. I'm glad you called in. Uh, this is my sister Betty, Mrs. Turpin, Len Fairclough. It's not the way that we behave up north. It might be the way you behave in London, but not up here. Oh. I'm no chicken, I know that. And she's younger and fitter than I am. But I can still give her a run for her money when it comes to pulling pints and serving a few hot pots. Oh, she's a jolly good fellow. 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 And so say all of us. Such a recognisable face, I don't think... She'll be so missed. And Toby, um, she d it's quite interesting watching that um, report because not many people know what she did before no, she joined Coronation no, Street. That, that's it. I mean, 42 years behind the bar, serving up those hot pots. You, you might have heard of them, Betty's <laughs> Hot Pots. Um, but prior to that, she had a 40-year career as a singer and an actress. She worked with people like Carol Reed, George Formby. I mean, she was a big deal. And she had her own BBC radio show, A Date with Betty. She toured a lot, performed to service personnel. So she was a huge name. So when she joined Coronation Street, it wasn't as if she was, an, she was some, not quite an ingenue, but she wasn't like an unknown. It was actually someone who the older you know, audience would have known exactly who, who it was. Of course, over the years, as that audience has, has left us, uh, the younger audience only sees her as Betty. But of course, she's had a, an 80-odd-plus year career, but two completely separate careers. And talk us through a little bit about the, the, the Coronation Street that she joined. Yeah. It was ordinary life, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, it, it, soaps have changed so much, and she was one of those kind of characters. She was, you know, she was behind the bar and often didn't have much to say, I mean, in, in many of the episodes. But she was just... She was just there, wasn't yeah, she? She was, yeah. she was kind of the, part of the continuity of the program. Absolutely, and and so yeah, you're quite right. She hasn't had those meaty, juicy storylines that other characters have had. Certainly in the latter stages of her time on the street, but she had in the 70s quite big storylines. It turns out her nephew was actually dun 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 her son, and she'd given her to her sister to raise, Gordon. Um, but, like you say, she always had a line, and that was the great thing about her character. It was very well played and very well written. She added spice and colour to any situation, and she was always ready with a really tart line, or failing that, just a roll of her eyes said mm. enough. She's refu she refused to retire, though, yeah. didn't she? So she's not had the exit. I mean, when was she last on the program? Uh, last May. And so it's going to be quite tricky now for the series producers to either write her out or fade her out. Exactly. Or... I, I, it would seem strange I, I personally feel if they didn't mark it somehow on the street it would seem somehow fitting that they did do that because being like you say being a staple for 42 years being part of the lives of so many people there she's godfather to, to William Roach's son uh, sorry godfather uh, godmother rather to William Roach's son so she is such a core person such a core individual on the show for her to suddenly just vanish and never be referenced again would be very odd I, I, I can imagine something being done around her departure the Coronation Street is of course still hugely popular Popular. But yep. do you think when people watch some of those clips, they're a bit nostalgic to a, I don't know, it's a slightly more innocent time. Yeah. Innocent's not quite the word. Do you know what I mean, though? There were a time when, if you like, it was a simpler... Yes. It was less sensational. We didn't have people ramming cars into bridges and trams flying off bridges and, and, and sort of landing on the corner shop. Um, so, so it has, of course, changed. I think what Coronation Street has always been very good at is, is having that sense of family and that sense of family at its very core and also having... Uh, sort of characters of more uh, advanced years, shall we say, who we can all relate to. We know someone like Betty or someone like Blanche who has a very quick line, won't suffer fools, and we know people like that. And if we lose those kind of characters on the show, then we're divorcing ourselves from the reality of what we ourselves can relate to. Her funeral's later today. Uh, I can imagine it's going to, there's going to be a massive turnout of 
past um, stars of mm. the programme. What's going to be her legacy? How will she be remembered? Well, like we said at the beginning, I think she's going to be remembered as someone who had two very separate careers, was very successful in both of those careers, and has left us, I mean, you could say a legacy, a culinary legacy on the street, certainly, but as a character who has seen that soap develop over the years and just change over the years, but she's remained one of those constant figures that everyone still can remember and relate to. Does her hot pot recipe exist somewhere? It was I done, it, it was actually made, it, uh, a company did actually market it according to the recipe that she, uh, she had. Toby, thank you very much. Thank Good you. To see you. Thanks, Toby.